Hello and welcome to my five minutes Vampire the Masquerade plot ideas. As usual, feel free to make of it what you will. I'm going to start us with a special with a damp fire, so a half vampire whose uh, parents were um, vampire, one parent was a vampire, one parent was human. And I'm going to add to that Clan Giovanni and Clan True Bruja. <sighs> okay, uh, True Bruja again. Let's go for it. Five minutes starts. Okay, so um, Damfire and Giovanni go very well together. This is an incestuous family uh, where the family line and the vampire lines are mixed and stuff like that, and there's a lot of incest, literal incest, going on in that family. So a very low 15th generation. You know, you would get to 15th generation at some point in the family. 15th generation vampire with someone else in the family has a damn fire child. In fact, yeah, so let's say the vampire is a father, that makes more sense, has sex with a Giovanni, human Giovanni mother, gives birth to a damn fire, and that mother is later embraced. Um, so you can actually get a lot of stuff with the coterie with just those three characters. The older vampire, who is of 15th generation, so only sort of Giovanni by tradition, well, by lineage, not really by attributes. The mother, who is of much lower generation, so superior to the father, but who was human when he was a vampire, so they had that relationship and now it's changed, and the daughter, son, whichever uh, you want, who is a damn fire, very rebellious of course, problems there, growing up in a Giovanni household, maybe being hidden from the Giovanni household, yeah, yeah, she'd probably be experimented on to some extent, so sort of hid hidden, maybe she's known as cousin, well, cousin whatever, cousin Bob, or uh, cousin Jane. So who's in this very incestuous milieu, um, has to be rebellious and angry because of her heritage, trying to conceal what she is. Right, so those are three characters at least. Now, True Bruja. Let's see. I'm drawing a blank here. Uh, time manipulation powers. Do we want the true brew? Do we want these to be at different times? Um, I mean, sort of time traveling, having sex with yourself. Um, okay, now let's just. There is. Okay. In a Giovanni, a Giovanni mansion, let's put it this way, there is a true bruja, a, an elder true bruja that has been captured, or they think they've captured it, imprisoned him or her in the mansion, and they're going to do whatever they want to do with it. Except that true brujas do not like being captured, and this extremely powerful one has, well, basically taken their revenge from within their prison, accelerating and slowing down time for loads of people throughout the mansion. So people find their time frames, they suddenly age by 10 years while the people around them don't age. Um, people were frozen in time, others accelerate down. So you might turn a corner and it's five years later or go off for a year and come back and no time has happened. So yes, so the true Bruja would not be in the coterie. 
the coterie would be the three vampires I just well the two vampires and the damn fire I described earlier plus maybe more in the family more whatever more family maybe there's two damn fire children uh, maybe there's more relationships more parents uh, so this family is part of a much larger family in the Giovanni mansion while they have all this messed up relationship with themselves and now the true bruja is unleashed its powers and things are going faster and slower and time is getting messed up and they're trying to conceal their identity and what they did from the rest of the house and try and deal with the source of the problem i.e. the true bruja which who may be unapproachable well, or seems to be unapproachable for the moment right that seems as if you have the germ of a plan and thanks for your attention and um, all the best.